This video was brought to you by Yamaha Proven Off-Road ATVs and Side-by-Side -side Vehicles. For the past few months, I've been shooting the Prime Logic CT3 as part of Archery Talk's 2019 hunting bow project. This bow is dressed in a spot hog sight, a Hamsky Trinity Hunter Pro Aero Rest, and a Titanium Archery Products Stabilizer. Before we get any further, if you could please like, share, and subscribe, it would help the channel out a whole lot. This bow has a generous axle-to-axle -axle length of 33 inches, brace height of 6.5 inches, and IBO rated speed of 335 feet per second. I'm shooting the CT3 with a draw length set to 29 and 7 8 inches and a draw weight of 70 pounds. There are a total of four bows in the Prime Logic family ranging from 30 inches to 39 inches in length, each with a long riser design and shorter limbs. These are Prime's first bows with split limbs and they use Prime's parallel cam technology to help eliminate cam lean. The Logic CT3 is available for about $1,000 and while that is average for a flagship hunting bow, this bow packs a lot of extra value. First, it comes with both cable and limb stops, allowing individual owners to choose what kind of feel they want at full draw. As well, Prime offers free strings and cables every two years for the original owner. If you're the type of person who will own a bow for many years, that is a lot of extra value. As for fit and finish, I don't think Prime takes a backseat to anyone. The Logic series in particular has looked fantastic in all three test bows I've had. The CT3 is dressed in a Morel riser and it is flawless. The strings and cables are holding up perfectly so far, with no peep rotation or serving separation. The grip on the Logic elicits zero complaints for me. It's flat on the front with slightly rounded sides, and it fits in my hand just perfectly. The draw cycle of the Logic CT3 is on the short list for my favorites this year. In fact, I probably like it even more than the CT9, which I covered in our target bow project. It is a smooth pull and remarkably light feeling with no noticeable dump into the valley. I've got the Logic set up right now with the limb stops, which offer a rock solid back wall. I may end up switching over to the cable stops as I tend to like a little bit of give as I pull through the shot. This bow feels good and stable at full draw, though I've not been quite as consistent with my groups with the CT3 as I have been with a few other bows this year. I really like the fact that I can tweak the holding weight and valley by moving the limb stops in a route. It's a feature I'd like to see on more bows. After the shot, I am noticing a little bit of vibration, but I would say this bow is quieter than the majority I've tested this year. When it comes to tuning, the Logic CT3 gave me more problems than any of the Prime bows I've tested in recent years. I had a vertical tear I couldn't shake for the longest time. I ended up fixing it by dropping my rest a little lower than normal and advancing the top cam, but it was a little more trouble than I was expecting from a Prime. As for speed, I tested this bow with a 350 grain gold tip platinum pierce arrow and a 475 grain gold tip airstrike arrow and ran them through the chronograph. The lighter arrow produced an average speed of 322 feet per second, while the heavier airstrikes saw an average of 281. If you're on the lookout for a super smooth drawing hunting bow with fit and finish that is second to none, head to your local Prime dealer and check out the Logic CT3.